In this video, I'll introduce the mathematical models that are associated with thermodynamics. So first, when we talk about efficiencies and coefficients of performance, in the textbook, there are a lot of different formulas for efficiency and coefficient of performance depending on the specific situation. I think it's easier if you just think about it this way. So an efficiency is what you want over what you put in. For example, my daughter does archery and if she takes her bow and arrow and she shoots 10 arrows, all 10 of them are going to hit the target somewhere. If I take her bow and her arrows and shoot at the target, I will get maybe five of them <laughs> to hit the target. The rest of them will be gone somewhere in the grass. So her efficiency for hitting the target, what she wants is to hit the target. So she hit the target 10 times out of 10 times. Her efficiency is 100%. For me, what I put in, I again shot 10 arrows, but only five of them went where I wanted. So my efficiency is five over 10. So that's an example of how you would use this formula. Look at what it is that you're trying to do, and that's what you want, and then look at what you had to put in to try and do that. And that's what you put on the box. And this can be expressed as a percent. Right here it's expressed just as a ratio. If you want percent, you can multiply by 100% on the end. Coefficient of performance is exactly the same thing. So you don't have to worry about what's the equation for coefficient of performance versus efficiency. The mathematical models are the same. This maximum efficiency, be careful with this one. This one works only in specific situations of a Carnot engine. This is the maximum possible efficiency that you can get from a heat engine. The heat engine operates between two different temperatures. So you'll have a cold temperature reservoir and a hot temperature reservoir. The amount of work that you can do depends on how, how far apart the cold temperature is from the hot temperature. Another important thing to remember is that this maximum efficiency needs to be calculated using temperatures in Kelvin. First law of thermodynamics, change in internal energy is the heat minus the amount of work done. This is another way of expressing conservation of energy. So the change in the energy of the gas is the heat that was put into the gas, so that's the added energy minus however much work was done by the gas. Now, specific heat at constant pressure or constant volume, these are for ideal gases. This looks a lot like Q equals MC delta T, right? Except here, we, again, we have Q, so this is Q. This example is for constant pressure. So Q at constant pressure equals not M this time, not the mass, but N, the number of moles times Cp, this is the specific heat at constant pressure, times the change in temperature of the gas. If you use constant volume, so during the process the gas stays at the same volume, then it's exactly the same equation except with the v, v subscripts. So the heat put in at constant volume equals the number of moles times the specific heat at constant volume times change in temperature. What are these CPs and CVs? They're related only to the ideal gas constant. So CP is 5 halves times R, CV is 3 halves times R. 